anytime you're doing counted thread embroidery, it's helpful to add tacking stitches so that you don't lose your place. Today, I'm going to show you how to do that. Welcome to Ebda Studio. My name is Elizabeth and I help you make beautiful things with quilting, pojagi, and embroidery. So counted thread embroidery or stitching in forms like cross stitch, hardanger, bargello, things like that where you are counting the number of threads in your base fabric and then doing your stitches over those. It is really helpful to have tacking stitches. These stitches are just little guidelines that will help in your counting and help you to be able to keep track of where you are as you're following from the chart. So I have this piece that I've already started and it's a hardanger piece and we can see I have tagging stitches to mark the center of the design. So this is really helpful marking the center. And all the tacking stitches are, are basting stitches just done with regular quilting thread. So they're put in and after I'm done the stitching, they will come out. But I could add even more rows of these stitches if I wanted to. So the placing of how you would wanna add the additional rows kind of depends on what you're stitching. So if I was doing cross stitch, for example, I might wanna have my tacking stitches in multiples of 10, because that will make it really easy for me to count 10, 20, 30, etc. However, with hardanger, I really want my lines to be in multiples of four. And that is because cluster blocks tend to be done in multiples of four. So they are four threads up and they cover four threads across. So if I was gonna add more up here, I might do 12, 24, etc. And then another thing with hardanger that isn't as important of an issue with other types is I actually have each stitch goes over four threads. So this is exactly over four threads so it makes it really easy to count everything and then I can be sure as I come around that everything is going to line up because when you're doing your initial clusters and hard anger it's very frustrating if you stitch and you get all the way around and then you're one stitch off because in this type of embroidery you do have to find the mistake and go back and take it out you can't just fudge it with this type of embroidery. So if I was doing um, cross stitch, for example, I wouldn't be as worried about uh, the stitches themselves. I could just go um, randomly with however I was feeling and just make sure as you put your stitches in, I wouldn't knot the thread. I would count up however many lines I want to go and then just go in and just ensure that you are stitching in a straight line. And so you just put these basting stitches in and then double check to make sure that it is a straight line. So when you're counting, it's the same number here as it is here. And then when you're done your stitching, then you'll just easily remove those from the fabric. So with count and thread embroidery, tacking stitches, are very beneficial. For more embroidery tips and tutorials, be sure to check out eudastudio.com.